fund. So we can um, see what's on my table right here. All right, here we go. So this is what we're doing today. Um, it's just a picture right now, and it's a picture of uh, a school hallway. And in this hallway, they hung up their drawings. And guess what it is? It's a picture of reindeers. So we have a couple of reindeers here made by other kids from a different school. And they look really, really fun. Obviously, we can't be in school and hang up these artworks, which would be really neat. But we'll do it here for remote learning. So what you're going to need is a piece of paper, like how I have, and something to draw with, so preferably a pencil. If you guys are wondering what it looks like when it's done, um, I did this one from last class. So I'm still working on it, but it's almost, Wait, almost done. But for right now, let's teach you guys how to draw it. So all you need is a piece of paper like this and maybe a pencil. All right, but for me, I'm going to use a marker just so it's easier to see on camera. All right, make sure your paper is straight up and down, also known as vertical. So make sure your paper is up and down, not side to side. All right, first step. You want to make sure that your uh, first step is the oval for the whole entire head. And you want to make sure you have enough room on the top. And you want to make sure you have enough room on the bottom. Can anyone tell me by raising their hand, why would you need room on the top? Anyone know? You can raise your hand. Luke, why would you need room on the top for? For the mouth and eyes. Oh, uh, the antlers? Is that what that is? All right, good job. All right, and then for the bottom, why do we need room in the bottom? Anyone know? What's the bottom for? Vinny. Body. Good job. All right, next step. I want to draw more ovals. So this next oval is going to be for the nose. So you're going to do one right down here, just like so. So try to your best to try to copy me. All right, next step. I want to draw two more ovals to show where the eyes are. So maybe one oval up and down right here. And then one oval right beside it and touching it on the other side. Just like that. All right, before you guys draw the inside of the eyes, let's see what your options are. So if I hold this picture up, I'm going to try to hold it as steady as I can. Uh, some people drew the deer where it's looking to the side, and some people drew it so the deer is looking down. Uh, you could do any direction that you would like. So for instance, for my other one I did, he's looking towards that way. But if you want to make it looking down, all you got to draw is make two circles in the inside of these ovals on the bottom. But it's up to you, okay? Up to you. So which one do you want to do for your picture? Do you want to make the deer looking down? Or do you want the deer uh, looking up? It's completely up to you. All right, good job, everybody. All right, next step. We're going to draw the ears next. And we're going to do it on the very side of the head because we can't do it on top because that's where the antlers are going to go. So you want to put one ear over here. So maybe Draw like a shape of a leaf on this side. And then do another ear on the very opposite side, just like so. Okay, I did it a little bit bigger than usual because I want to draw another shape in the inside of them. I'll wait until you guys are a little caught up. I don't want to go too fast. All right, here I go. On this ear, all I'm going to do is draw the exact same shape, but smaller. So it fits. So what we just did was draw the inside of the ear and do the exact same thing on the opposite end, just like so. Okay. And then once we're done later on, if I can show you guys real quick, we can color it different colors, just like how I did over here. And it'll look really cool. All right, let's do the bottom part next. And it's the scarf on the neck. So first of all, you want to draw two tiny dashed lines in the bottom for the first part of the neck, just like so, really small. 
And then it's up to you. Do you want to do a rectangle or a square for the bottom? So I'm going to do a square, but I'm going to round out my corners just like so, so it's not so pointy on each corner. So I kind of made a square. And then I want my scarf to, I want it to look like a scarf. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw rectangles on one end. So maybe one rectangle going this way. And then maybe another rectangle going the opposite way, just like that, but on like the same end. There we go. That's a really hard thing to do, but hopefully you guys can do it because I know it's kind of hard to put uh, one shape on top of the other. Good job, everybody. Now this next part is optional, meaning you don't have to do it, but some people like to create little dashes at the end of the rectangles. Because scarves have these too. Just to show it's like made out of like thread. Kind of cool. And I don't want to add the stripes yet because I want to do that in color later on. All right, last step is just to finish off the neck on the bottom. So I'm just going to go down from here, maybe curve outwards, over here, and curve outwards. There we go. My neck is all done. And then again, I'll show you guys one more time. You guys can always color it later. All right, our right, last step. This last step, I am gonna do it in pencil for me because Mr. Mill makes mistakes too. So on the top, I'm gonna curve out like this and then go up. And then on this side, I'm gonna curve out this direction and then go up. So I know it's a little hard to see. That's the only reason why I do marker a lot of the time. But I did in pencil just in case if I made a mistake. Yeah, I could probably try to color it darker with my pencil. So maybe you guys can see it better. There we go. All right, this next part is super simple, but you just gotta make sure you guys watch out. So let's start out with one, uh, one, one, of the, one of these is first. Uh, so first step, I'm going to go from here. I'm going to make one going off of this um, antler. One horn out of the, off of this antler. And then I'm going to keep going down the line. And then I'm going to go on the opposite end and draw a horn going this way. And go back to the main line. Go up again a little bit higher and then go on the opposite side of the, opposite side of the antler. Stop. And then I'm going to go on the opposite side again and then draw another horn on the opposite side. So you're kind of just like alternating back and forth. Once you're done with that, you can do it on the exact same. I'm oh, sorry, you could do it on the opposite antler, just like that. So all you're doing is going back and forth. All right. And it doesn't matter how many you do. All right, good job, everyone. We still have five minutes, and it's plenty of time to at least get a little coloring done. Again, you don't have to color if you don't want to. If you want to add, like, snowflakes or anything in the background, you can. Again, you don't have to color. But if you do, I did start coloring mine. So this is mine right here. Um, let me see if I can move it. There we go. So notice what I started doing over here. I'm going to start doing the antlers, so I colored it in. And what I've been doing with my crayon or any other coloring supplies you have, I've been making the antlers a little bit thicker by coloring them back and forth a couple times. That way it's not, not like a, a thin pencil. So that'd be pretty cool. I've been doing stripes on my um, scarf, if you guys see that. Um, I do have two different types of browns for my deer though, if you guys notice. I have a light brown for the inside of my ear, and then I have a different color brown for the outside of the ear. And then that same color I'm using for the face. So it's up to you to decide what you want to do. And then, um, if you guys look at this example one more time, I'll put it up one more time. Um, this is optional. You don't have to do this either. Um, but what they did, they created the background all green. So the background basically behind the deer is all green. But you don't have to. But if you want to, that's what they did. Let me see if I can do it for you guys. So this was all green.
just like so. All right, we have about three minutes left. It's looking good so far. And as you can see, Mr. Mill's not done with his, so it's okay if you don't finish it. You can always finish it another time too. So if you have like gym, music, or library next, you can always pause and do this later. You don't have to finish it now, like how I'm trying to. All right, oh, can't forget the neck. All right, this is awesome. All right, uh, at this time, um, I'm gonna give you guys an opportunity, uh, if you're done or not, if you guys want to show it to me by holding it up to the camera, you can. Uh and then I can see what you guys do. Um, I see um, that Lauren added some eyelashes. That's a pretty cool idea. And she made her eyes, cute eyes, really neat. Kaylee, good job. Yours is almost fully done. I see Ella's making a cool uh, pattern in the background, which is really neat. Um, Samir, I saw yours. David, I saw yours. Emily, good job. Um, Luke, good job. Lila, awesome. All right, these are all great so far. Jalen, good job. Evelyn, awesome job, too. Everyone, good job all around. Wait, can I tell you mine? You want to tell me mine, Logan? No, mine. Yeah, show it to me. So, but I have to start with a story first. Um. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a... a um, wait, what do we call these again? I forgot. Wait, let me think. Logan. Oh, right. Um, dear. Logan, I apologize. That had a very long neck. And what he found in